The Tiny Glade demo is live, so now we have to answer the burning question, can we make a tiny town in Tiny Glade? As you can see, the circle that we have in the demo is pretty small, and yes, we can pet the sheep. So I feel like we should start with a few buildings. All right, I've got one little house here, and I think I should be able to very easily fit this house here. Okay, so I've got two little houses. Honestly, that's pretty good. You know what? Let's put this one on a hill. Let's put a little round cottage. I really like being able to right click on it to see all the controls all at once so then I can adjust my little roof and everything and see where my base and top of my walls are. Okay, so I've got three houses so far in my tiny village, which I'm pretty happy with. Okay, let's work on our path. So obviously we need a road coming into the village, make it like that. And then we'll add our little paths coming over. When you run a path into the side of a house, it'll turn into a door. And when you run a path up a mountain, it should turn into stairs. Might have to make a wider path. There we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, what else can we do here? Oh, windows. Windows auto-populate stuff, which is great. And if you don't like it, you can just click on them until the windows do something that you want them to do. Oh, we can also make windows wider. Somehow I missed that little feature. I want the, with the shutters. And we can add dormers as well, which is adorable. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, there's a little sheep. Hello, sheep. I really like this whole double window situation. I feel like the whole game is extremely intuitive. And look, we can connect our little laundry line over here as well, which I, oh, just kidding. Gotta be more careful. Okay, if you have watched some of my other videos where I've played Not The Sims, I've received access to a handful of demos and like early access versions of games, which has been great and I've really appreciated that. But one of my main gripes with a lot of them has been how long it takes me to learn the new controls, which I'll just go ahead and acknowledge I'm not the best at picking up on new controls. Like <laughs> that little Karen movement there was proof, but I don't feel that way in this game. I feel like I picked it up so fast and that is a huge testament to how well this game has been designed. Oh, this is just, it's, it's too cute guys. I can't. How many? Oh, we can do max of three. I'm pretty okay with that. Or we could do two with little shutters. Fantastic. Oh, I didn't show you the wall tool yet. So the wall tool, you draw a little wall, right? And then when you click on the right click on the wall, you can actually snip it into sections, which is great, or just adjust the height. And if I go back over to my wall tool, I can pick up where I left off and connect that over there. I think I will go ahead and connect another wall over this way. And yes, windows do place on the walls as well. I also want to place some lanterns. I like the progression of time. I don't, I just, I can't think of anything like negative to say about this game. I love it so much. We do also have a paint tool. So if you select this and then click on a building or a roof, we can change it a little bit. We don't have a lot of different options right now, but it looks like more are coming. That's exciting. Plus I can make my houses all feel a little bit more different this way. The sound design is absolutely delightful as well. And I did turn the music off for this one today, just because I'm not sure about like copyright and stuff and I wanna be able to share this with you guys, but the music is absolutely delightful. So I could put some little flower areas in. I think that's all the tools I have currently. So the last thing to do is show you guys how to take pictures of your little towns. I feel like I should also mention this game, like I'm not affiliated with this game in any way. I just love it. And I've been looking forward to the release for so long. So the camera controls are actually the same as the free camera in uh, Sims. So if you're familiar with that, you're good. You can adjust exposure, you can adjust your lens and your field of focus. Uh, you can adjust the zoom here or by using your scroll wheel. You can switch to this camera or this one, which gives you a little bit more control of like direction and whatever. And you can set the time of day here. It's not like an o'clock exactly. You just have to click the buttons until you get a time that you're fond of. And you can click to move the focus box to help with whatever thing you're trying to focus on. You can also make this larger or smaller. Like there's just, there's so much to this demo. I'm so excited for the game. And once you've got your shot squared up, take a picture and there it is. There's our tiny town in Tiny Glade. I will do my best to tag the relevant creators on whatever platform you're watching this on so you can find the game for yourself. You can also find it on Steam just by searching Tiny Glade. I definitely wanna make some more videos. Let me know your ideas. What else can we try to build in this tiny circle? Super quick video today, but also very spontaneous just because this happened to come out today and I've been dying to play it. So there you go. There's Tiny Glade.